The next step is to create dimensions on the isometric view. So I'm going to slide this over here. And we're going to go to Annotate tab. And again, we're going to use dimension. I'll double click it to keep it on. And I'll simply grab this line and move it out and click a position. Grab this line and move it out and click a position. Grab this line and move it out and click a position. When you create dimensions on the isometric view, you're going to create dimensions solely for planning purposes. So I'm going to move this text. Uh, we're going to make sure we're in, uh, we're going to turn off dimension. So I can double click this text and then move it. I'll grab this green bar here, I believe. No, that's going to rotate it, sorry. I'm going to try and grab the edge over here and move this just out of the way for now. And then remember, you can highlight the whole thing. Right click properties. Select the numdink found in the value tab. Select OK. Now, these have to have parentheses around them. So, what you have to do is either double click the red. And then add the parentheses. Or the other option would be to click on it, right click, and go to properties if you're not getting those red triangles to show up. You can go into looking for text dimensions. This is the main thing. So the four is the main. And then I can put a parenthesis here. And another parenthesis over here. So open, close parenthesis around it and say OK. And it puts those parentheses. One more time, right click in properties. In the dimension text tab, we're going to add dimension text to the value by putting parentheses in the front and the back. This identifies it as a reference callout. Okay. So now that it's a reference call out, it tells the shop, hey, we can't measure this because it is not the true length of the line. Because this is an isometric view, these lines are actually foreshortened. The four and two and a half inch dimensions represent actual lengths, but if you were to measure it on the paper, they will be foreshortened because it's not a true view. It's not flat to the screen. So a lot of companies don't do it, but I want you to do it because you may go to a company that does isometric views and dimensions those. For example, if you go to a company where they're doing research and development, they're not actually making a drawing. They just want you to make an isometric view and throw on the dimensions so that they can go build it in the shop. And then they'll worry about the actual drawing at a later date. So two purposes. One, you may go to a company that is doing isometric dimensions only for research and development. Also, I like to add this because I'm trying to help the planner. The planner will use the overall dimensions to identify what raw stock material to pre-order before it goes into production. So if you can give the planner the overall length, width, and height, they'll know what size material to use to make your part. All right, so those are your two purposes for dimensioning the isometric view. I really like it because I think it makes it nice to see and give you those overall dimensions of how big your part really is.